my role is really to try and bring some sort of coordination mechanism to this humanitarian crisis. Almost two million internally displaced people. Fields and fields of people with very little shelter, very little food, very little services of any kind. What do we do about this? Why do we even call them internally displaced people? You have a human right to, within your own country, move to wherever you want to move. The city of Maiduguri, which has more than doubled in size, it has taken in more people than the entirety of Europe. But what we're going to find is that the young people who have moved from a village-type structure into a city, many of them are never going to go back. So Maiduguri as a city literally has changed. It's a multi-layered and terribly complex situation, but in reality it's simple. It is protecting the rights and the dignities of our citizens. Now in the world we see a lot of protracted displacements all around and this is also why the durable solutions is something that we need to aspire for. And the states do have the primary responsibility to do this, particularly when we address the triggers of internal displacement.